Happening tomorrow, the Indiana State Fair opens for business. People will start walking down the midway tomorrow morning to enjoy the shops, the food, and of course the rides at the fairgrounds. But before that happens, those rides need to be safe. That's right. State officials performed those checks this morning, and so did our Eric Graves, who is there to get a behind-the-scenes look at some of the final preparations while also having a little bit of fun. The last two days for the Indiana State Fair, all 50 rides out here get checked off. Bullet Train here has already been approved, so I might as well take a ride. Here we go. Before everyone can have this much fun on all of the rides at the Indiana State Fair, they need to be checked out. We have inspected about around 50 rides. Um, not had any major violations, so we're, we're looking good. Vaughn Scott is the deputy section chief for amusement rides. He leads a team of 12 inspectors from the state fire marshal's office in a two-day long inspection of all the rides at the state fair. We look to make sure all the safety features are working properly and nobody gets hurt, uh, nobody gets scrapes or cuts. The inspectors go ride by ride, making sure everything is tight and harnesses are ready to go. Uh, we make sure the, the ride's level. Uh, we don't want anything tilting. Inspectors will also be on standby during the fair. To ensure that everything is running smoothly. Scott wants you to keep an eye out for any issues too. If you come across anything that may be wrong, there's an 800 number on the ride that you can call and you know report any problems with the ride. That includes what ride operators are doing or not doing. Operator is not checking the seatbelts to make sure that they're secure and everything else definitely call because we don't want anybody getting hurt on the ride. The roller coasters are the only thing getting finishing touches ahead of opening day Friday. The food vendors are ready to go with some pretty crazy creations. We have over 130 food stands, so there's really something for everybody. Oh man. I tried out the street corn pizza with a squeeze of lime. And a barbecue pig wing, which obviously isn't actually a wing, but the shank or back leg portion of the pig. There was too much great food to try at all, and I certainly wouldn't recommend stuffing yourself before getting on any of these rides. Scott, though, is confident they're safe. I feel confident enough with our inspectors and what they do that I would allow my grandkids to ride these rides. And I can at least confirm the bullet train is a fun one. All 50 of these rides will be checked out throughout the Indiana State Fair to make sure that safety is maintained. Reporting here at the State Fair, I'm Eric Graves. Back to you. Now, let me just say one thing about Eric. He's going to have a good time no he matter is. where he is. At. No, absolutely. Ever. He did. I'm glad he did the rides uh, before, before yeah. he ate all the food, as you Yes, pointed very out. smart idea. Smart thing to do. That's right. I can tell you right now <laughs> what the outcome would have been if that were me.